Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the spin blur effect in Photoshop. Okay, so this is a nifty little trick if you would like to make part of your image spin around a pivot point. So we're going to be doing this on an image of a car. We're going to make the wheels spin, but you <laughs> forget that happened. But you, but you could do. <laughs> There's no coming back from that. So you could do this with any area of an image that you would like to spin. It's pretty awesome, pretty useful, and we're gonna jump into it now and get started. Righty-o, so we're now in Photoshop, and you can see I have an image of a car, a rather nice car with a rather nice sunset, or sunrise, one of those. Either way, I'm gonna make this back wheel spin with the spin blur. So I'm gonna start by going to the Layers panel, and I'm gonna press Command or Control J to duplicate that layer and then right click and convert this to a smart object. Now the reason I do this is because I can then apply this spin blur as a smart filter, which means that I can then edit it or delete it. It just gives me a lot more flexibility. So now I'm gonna go up to filter and down to blur gallery and select spin blur. And it creates one for me by default. I can press backspace on the keyboard and then drop down a spin blur wherever I like myself just by clicking. And I could even add another one if I wanted to do two different wheels. But I think we'll just uh, we'll stick to one for now. One's enough. So I'm just going to select this point here. And then what I can do is hover around the edge of the circle and I can make this larger or smaller. Now, of course, you can see I'm going to need to distort the shape. So what I can do is I can hover over these tiny little circles around the edge and we get a rotate icon appear. This allows me to actually distort the shape and also rotate it. Then I can go back and then scale this down. So I'm just gonna spend a moment just adjusting the size and get this into position so it covers the wheel. Okay, so once you have it in position, you can go over here to the spin blur panel and we can adjust the amount of blur with the slider or you can enter a particular value if you like. Depends how fast you want to make it spin. Or what I can do is if I undo all of that, what I can do is with this selected, I get these slightly larger circles just on the inside and I can actually control exactly where I want that blur to go as well. So you can see I can have it run to the edge or I can have it more kind of towards the center. So I'm gonna keep it quite close to the edge in this example, but that's just one other way that you can control the blur. So let's just speed this up. We get some other effects down here. So strobe strength, and a few other things, strobe flashes and flash duration. So you can fine tune all of this and you see those changes happening in real time as well. So you can really fine tune your spin blur. When you're happy, just go ahead and click okay. And as I mentioned, because it's a smart object, we can see it listed under here and we can just turn this off or back on. You can see it takes a moment to re-render. And I can then double click blur gallery to go back inside make changes or what I can do is just drag that to the trash icon and it removes that effect altogether. But I'm going to undo that and you can see if I just zoom in, I did this very quickly so you can spend a bit more time just masking out your selection in the blur gallery menu just so the right parts of your image blur. So definitely take a little bit more time and care with it but this is just one example of how you can use the spin blur effect in your creative work. And there we go, so that's the spin blur effect. Spinning wheels, go crazy, have fun with it, make everything just spin. It'll be beautiful. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, you know what to do, drop those down below. As always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.